नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर रम्या दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रवीण जेकब चीफ कंसल्टेंट एट निसर्गा मने सिरसी चीफ साइंटिफिक एडवाइजर एट आत्मंथन वेलनेस सेंटर एंड अर्जेंट प्रोफेसर एट के एस हेगडे मेडिकल अकेडमी ऑल्सो ही इज द सी ओ ऑफ अल्फा नेशनल्स न्यूट्रोस्यूटिकल्स सर वी वॉमली वेलकम यू टूडे डॉक्टर प्रवीण जेकब इज विद अस टू शेयर अबाउट कॉन्स्टिपेशन एवरी वन स्टार्ट अवर डे विथ clearing our bowel movements yes yes if at all uh, we are not uh, clearing our bowel movements in a proper way we end up in depression the whole day ends up in depressive mode and and in very unhappy mode the lifestyle pauses and today sir is with us to clear us about the difficulty with constipation yeah sir please so sir. most of the traditional communities had a notion that constipation is mother of all, all disease in fact from very long time that's why most of the treatment protocol in ayurveda is focusing to increase elimination yes so sir is there any link between large intestine and constipation so in natural environment the bio waste is decomposed by bacteria, bacteria. just imagine a well without this tiny organism called as microbes bacteria the planet will be a pile of dead bodies and waste material so bacteria are most indispensable requirement to to clean our planet and precisely same way this microbes in our colon are indispensable requirement to process the food and convert food into waste uh, thereafter eliminating the waste from our body now recent studies state that if you don't have good bacteria in our gut in our colon the waste cannot convert into stool leading to constipation. constipation so constipation is purely mediated by bacteria. bacteria when we miss good bacteria exactly like if you put if you flush constantly soap water to toilet tank mm. one fine day you know waste cannot convert into one fine day stool cannot convert into soil, soil. because the soap water Kill the Kill all bacteria. bacteria which was responsible of converting, converting stool, stool into soil. Same thing happened here. When we take junk foods, when we take processed foods, our good bacteria which are responsible for converting food into stool are missing, which is a root cause of constipation. constipation. So constipation is mediated by bacteria. bacteria. So bacteria is the root cause of constipation, as Sir says, because bacteria decomposes all our waste and aids in elimination thus relieving our constipation too sir uh, we would like to know is there any evidence between this uh, microbes and uh, constipation yeah definitely numerous studies are strongly suggest that the bacterial dysbiosis okay abnormal microbes in our gut in colon can lead to constipation and for instance this is a study published in a international journal the frontiers in medicines the gut microbiota and chronic constipation a review and update constipation is caused by dysbiosis of the micro microbiota biota. it's very well known fact today the medical community that when we lack some healthy microbes in our colon that can contribute to the it's poor transit time it's called as constipation. constipation so the solution is not just gulping down whole grain Grains. or fiber rich food which cannot help you as long as you have a good bacteria as long as you don't have a good bacteria no matter whatever you do you cannot induce the elimination so the best remedy is improving our microbiota, microbiota. only microbiota can cure our constipation not fiber eating or uh, grain eating can never cure our constipation here comes the evidence yeah one more study i strongly suggest that stool consistency is strongly associated with the gut microbiota richness and composition endotype types and bacterial growth rate so they says that the stool consistency the shape of stool hmm. strongly related to type of bacteria oh. which we harbor in our body that's the really people interesting with the healthy bacteria strains they have a better stool shape better consistency and the fast transit they need not okay. sit in the toilet for Long longer time, time. <laughs> many people sit for longer time they put the pressure leading to constipation and associated symptoms like 
piles and fistula. Fistula. Yeah. So the microbes are the answer for, for even the shape of the even stools. the shape of the stool is determined by the microbiota. microbiota. We feel very depressive when we uh, don't pass our stool properly. Mm -hmm. But we have happy mornings when we clear our bubbles. Is there any science yeah, behind definitely. it? Definitely, there is amazing, incredible science behind it. Oh. And a type of hormone called a serotonin. Okay. And until recently, we had notion that serotonin is a brain hormone. Okay. Now scientists found that the serotonin is the, the happy main hormone. happy hormone found to to have influence on our brain is produced in gut, not in Great. brain. Do you know one fact? As high as 90 percentage of serotonin, 90 percentage of serotonin is produced inside gut with the help of microbes. And later it gets transported to our brain. So even the serotonin happy hormones are produced by microbes. You can't underestimate the microbes hereafter. Yeah. So the serotonin has a profound impact. It serves two functions. Not just functioning as a brain hormone. Soon after, produ soon after production of serotonin in gut, which initiate the peristaltic movement. Okay. So the bowel movement is dictated by serotonin. Okay. So the primary function of serotonin is not to act as a brain hormone, rather it induces peristaltic, peristaltic movement. movement. After inducing peristaltic movement, that starts moving to brain. Okay. And where it serves as a brain hormone. So there's a two function for serotonin. Okay. So when we don't have adequate amount of serotonin, which is essentially manufactured by gut, gut bacteria, bacteria, you have two issues. One is lack of peristaltic movement, which is nothing but constipation. constipation. And simultaneously, it has impact on your brain. When so the serotonin cannot reach to brain, that leads feel to very depression. depression. So both coexist together. Okay. The lack of bowel movement is the root cause of depression. depression. So depression originate from our gut, not from our brain. brain. So a happy Madhya Pradesh ensures smiling Uttar Pradesh. Oh, yeah, that's great. So microbes influence happy hormones and happy hormones influence constipation. If any one of you have depression, do check your microbiome influence in your body because microbiomes also, if you don't have the enough amount of microbiomes, you automatically end up in depression because you don't get the proper amount of serotonin in a body. So doctor, now we get to know that microbiome is the real, real hero to cure constipation. Yeah. So how will we improve this microbiome in our body? Yeah, very significant questions. There is the two ways to improve the microbial diversity. Okay. The two terms are important here, prebiotics okay. and probiotics. probiotics. The probiotics are live strains of bacteria. There are numerous type of food around us which are naturally rich in prebiotics. probiotic bacteria like yogurt. Okay. Yogurt is a rich source of probiotic bacteria. Fermented foods, pickles, okay. toddy, these all are naturally rich in probiotic Probiotics. bacteria. So these microbes have a profound impact on transit time which can improve the, the motility, the movement of bubble. Okay. And second factor, something called as prebiotics. Okay. Prebiotics which are the fodil for probiotic bacteria. Okay. For instance, the probiotics are like seeds and prebiotics are it will enrich with the fertilizer, fertilizer as well. So prebiotics are a type of food which can be processed only by bacteria. Okay. Therefore, it is called as prebiotics. Okay. So probiotic and prebiotic combinations. Okay. So prebiotic acts as a fertilizer and probiotic acts as the seed for improving and growing our microbiomes. Let us know what is probiotics. As I pointed out initially, okay. probiotics are live strains of bacteria. Bacteria. Mainly found in fermented foods. Okay. Yogurt. Yogurt. Toddy. Toddy. Pickle. Pickles. There is something, you know, in, across the world, most of the traditional communities were relishing on probiotic rich food, fermented foods. We do know that our grandparents were making pickles, pickles. which were naturally rich in probiotic. probiotics, salted pickles, salted vegetables, the toddy, yogurt, buttermilk, which all are natural sources of 
probiotic, probiotic stains of bacteria. Now we get to know fermented foods are nothing but probiotics. Probiotics are the seed for growing the microbiome in our body and hence that will relieve our constipation. As you said, prebiotics is the fertilizer for microbiomes. So yeah. what are prebiotics? So prebiotics are a type of fiber. Okay. Not all fibers are created equal. Two types of fibers are found in the nature. Okay. One is soluble fiber and second insoluble. is insoluble fiber. We have access to insoluble fiber. Okay. Unfortunately, the soluble fiber is depleted from modern food chains. The grain fiber, red rice, wheat, hordes, this all do contain fiber, but they are insoluble fiber. They are useless. Okay. They are almost like a plastic pieces. They don't have any action on our GI tract, gastrointestinal tract. Whereas soluble fiber, upon reaching to large intestine, colon, they convert into a amazing fatty acid called as short chain, short -chain fatty, fatty acid, acid, which is the fertilizer of gut bacteria. Short chain fatty acid produced from the fermentation of soluble fiber Fibers. are the only one fuel by which, which enhances or enhances can, you know, microbes can flourish by short chain fatty acids but modern food habits are literally lack this natural fiber called as soluble, soluble fiber. fiber so the really one if someone wants to address the constipation from the root cause only one solution only one solution what's that solution that solution is very simple soluble fiber okay so modern eating does not have this soluble fiber our aim is to improve the soluble fiber to improve our microbiomes remember microbiome is the real hero for curing our constipation so friends as far as now doctor has clearly explained about constipation constipation is the mother of all diseases constipation is mainly caused due to the imbalance in our microbiome in order to increase this microbiome balance in our body which is nothing but good bacteria, which we have underestimated all these days we have to follow four important things having probiotics like fermented foods yogurt pickle prebiotics soluble fibers and fat so we all get to know the easy remedies from doctor thank you so much doctor for spending your valuable time and we'll meet you in a very interesting episode next time thank you namaskar